What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Beasley. I just wanted to come at you guys today with a quick video on basically the current events that are going on today. Honestly, y'all, this is some deep ass shit. Like, usually world events don't ever really affect me or affect my workplace, but for the first time in my life, I have been laid the fuck off. Like, just laid off. Like, bitch, ain't no money coming in after this week. And now I'm trying to kind of regroup and really see what my next step is going to be. So I decided to create this YouTube channel to kind of feed into my passions. For the longest, I was a commentator on a lot of famous black YouTubers. And I figured, you know, at this point, I ain't got shit to do. I ain't got no job. I ain't got nowhere to be. So why not feed in and make my own YouTube channel? I mean, now's the perfect time, right? So, a little thing about me. My YouTube name is Alan13E. If you know me, I am just a troll taboo commentator on a lot of black YouTubers. And a lot of things that I like, like video games, phone cases, cell phones. I love tech. I love fashion. I'm also a huge nerd. Like, I just love, I love everything. I love cutesy, girly stuff. Yes, I'm a grown-ass man. I'm 27, but I like girly shit. I love Barbie. Like, I love it all. Like, I would describe myself as, I would say, the perfect blend of feminine and masculine energy. That's me. I mean, as you can see in this video, my favorite colors are pink and purple, as well as black and white. Those are my four favorite colors. I wear those, at least one of those colors at least three times out of the week, if not more. I can't even count. Uh, what else about me? I love reality TV. Ratchet reality TV. Uh, I am, I would call myself a loving hip hop historian at this point, as well as the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Now, Real Housewives of Atlanta, in my opinion, is kind of on, like, it's kind of just on the rocks with me. Like, I don't really like anybody on the cast. Like, I don't really, I used to really go up for Nene Lanithia Moose Leaks. But since season four, I have just not been feeling her, her attitude, her, she's literally Nicki Minaj at this point. I'm that girl, I made this, yada, yada, yada. But girl, you haven't given anything to us since season four or five or whenever. I will say the last time I was really here for her is when she got Kim together at the reunion. But that's about it. Other than that, Nene, she's just like a one-trick moose and I'm over it. Who else do I like on The Real Housewives? I like the way Portia looks. I think she's just absolutely gorgeous black Barbie. Kenya as well, but Kenya is a fucking asshole. Like, at least Portia is, like, at least she's, like, lovably stupid. Kenya is just, she will just cut you to the death with her words, and she's just malicious for no fucking reason. Like, I love, I, I, I don't fully dislike her, because sometimes I do be on her side, but majority of the time, just like, girl, you need to work on yourself before you can really love somebody else and a good youtuber that i absolutely adore by the name of queen lovely lee she said that her and um what's her husband's name mark mark weekly oh i do not like that man but she said it very poignant that them two are a mirror of how they show up within the um in the universe basically how they show up in person because Kenya is a fucking asshole. And Mark is an even worse asshole. I do not like the way he talks to Kenya. And yeah, a lot of people can say it is karma. But at the same time, like I just feel like no black woman deserves to be treated like that. That's just my opinion. He is, in my opinion, a piece of shit. Uh, Cynthia is cute. I love Cynthia. I think she is crazy as shit. I think she is like the sweet, docile version of Jackie Christie. Cynthia, I, I adore her. I think she's funny as hell, but she is crazy as shit. Uh, Eva, Eva can go. Love Eva from back in the day, but she just, she brings nothing but her hazel eyes. That's about it. 
Um, who else? I do like Marlo. I think Marlo also is an asshole, but she's a likable asshole. Marlo is fucking funny to me. I'm sorry. Like, she's bold as shit. She is just, uh, she just does not give a damn when she talks. And that's something I, it, that's something that I really like in people that are just their authentic self. And not trying to be, like, tiptoe around people's feelings when they talk. Because that's something I do, and that's something I'm trying to unlearn. Um, hmm. What else do I like? I used to like Basketball Wives, but that, that show was just bad for the blood pressure. Like, Basketball Wives, to me, was good its first season when they most of the cast was pretending to be classy. Um... I do not like Shawnee O'Neal, never have. I've actually met her in person once, and I will give her her props. In person, she is very pretty. Very pretty. She's a lot taller than I thought she would be. I think she's actually the same height as me. I'm currently like 5'10", 5'11". Fun fact about me also, I, like I don't really know my official height. Every time I go to the doctor, they tell me something different. Like, sometimes I'm 5'9", sometimes I'm 5'10", sometimes I'm 5'11". One time they said 5'9.5", um, which is basically 5'10". So I'm just like, okay, whatever. So I just go by 5'10", 5 5'11". 5 like, some people even think that I'm six feet. So I, I just... My height is a spectrum. Kind of like my skin color. Growing up, people used to call me dark skin, so I wrote with dark skin. Now people say I'm light skin. I don't really think I'm light skin. I would say maybe like red bone. That's probably as light as I get. But I don't know. I, I, I define myself as that one shade in between red bone, brown, and dark skin. That's me. I just went on a whole tangent. But like kind of like colorism. Kind of like basketball wise. Because also I do not like Evelyn. I think she is just a piece of shit. Granted she makes great reality television and she's funny. She is just a nasty spirit, and I just love the way OG handled her ass. Like, seeing somebody get their karma is just absolutely amazing. Like, come on. Uh, even though Jennifer is... I, to be honest with you guys, from, the, from day one, Jennifer was always my favorite. Now, granted, she is an asshole, too. She takes no form of self-accountability whatsoever. She has a severe lack of self-awareness. And she could be a little delusional. But, like, she is just so pretty to me. And she has maintained herself. I, I believe before the show, she was genuinely a classy woman. But you know, basketball-wise, you have to turn up for a check. So, I understand. And maybe her money was um, running low ever since Eric fucking baptized her with that martini. And she came back to Basketball Wives to make something shake. But I heard that she really does have, like, money on her own. Like, she doesn't necessarily need the show. Because if you guys don't remember, she did. She was a co-founder of Flirty Girl Fitness, which was pretty fucking big back in, like, 2008 through 2011, I think. Like, Flirty Girl Fitness was a huge thing. So I, she pretty much has, I think she may have some money for that. And then she had a lip gloss line, which Jen, which Evelyn was jealous of her about. Let's be real. And that was pretty successful. I remember there being rave reviews for her lip gloss. And she also had, um, what else did Jennifer do? Mm, nothing really comes to mind, but I can honestly say she's done more than fucking Evelyn. So... I used to like Malaysia. I don't like her anymore. I feel like she drew a line in the sand and sided with Shawnee against her own fucking, um... CC was like her cousin, I think, or aunt. Like, I, I forgot how she was related to Byron, but, like, she was, um... Fucking Silky Press... What's her name? Cri Ooh, Kristen. She was her cousin by marriage because I think Byron was her... I don't fucking know. Who cares? But, um... Kristen, I think Kristen is a very dangerous individual, like Shawnee, very delusional, very fake, very, very, very pretty. Kristen is gorgeous. You can't take that from her, but that bitch is crazy. I, like, I, I wouldn't even want to go to fucking, to, this, to Target with her. Like, no. Um... Moving on from basketball, I will say, before I move on basketball, while Jackie Christie, I couldn't stand her in the beginning... But Jackie Christie, I absolutely love her. And maybe it's the Leo in me, because she's a Leo too. 
But Jackie is crazy as shit, but she is so fucking funny to me. Like, I just die laughing every time she's on the screen. Like, I just, I love her. Like, I don't know why. Like, because she is very problematic. She has a lot of shit with her. She has a colorist past. Like, she treated her oldest daughter like shit. Which, honestly, I, I really hope, I'm really glad the last time we heard about the daughter, they mended fences. And I'm really, I'm really proud of her for that. So nobody can really read her on that anymore. But, um, that's something about Jackie I really like. Like, I feel like she doesn't act the way she does on the show in real life. I, at least I would fucking hope not. I mean, people will say otherwise, but, like, I see the, I see the good in Jackie. I don't know how or why, but I do. What other shows do I like? Um, to be honest, like... I don't have cable anymore, so I use my Fire Stick to watch everything, and I watch everything on YouTube because sometimes I just don't even have time to sit down and watch it. So I would watch it on my phone, like at, during lunch or um, when I get home late at night. Because before this coronavirus hit, I used to get home like at least at like nine to ten o'clock every single night, like no matter like what I was doing or no matter it being a weekday or a weekend. Like I, for some reason, just could never get home before nine o'clock. So, and during that time, I would eat my late-ass dinner, and then I would watch the, um, whatever reality show I missed during that day. But, um, yeah, a little bit, a little more about me. I mean, if you haven't guessed already, I am a gay man. Uh, 27, I've only been in one relationship my entire life. Um, I think my last, my relationship ended, like, it was either 2018 or 2017. It's all a blur. 2017, for me personally, was like the worst year of my life. And even though a lot of shit has happened this year, I can honestly say this, like, even though I, like, lost my job, like, this is the first time in my life I've ever been unemployed. I've been working since 15 years old, and this is my first time ever being unemployed. But, um, I will say this year, it, it may be a shit show, but it hasn't honestly been a bad year for me. Like, I can honestly say that. Because, like, to be honest, when this coronavirus hit it, I said hit it. When this coronavirus hit, I looked at it as a blessing because I was so burnt out on a lot of stuff that I was doing. And I just needed to sit my ass down, to be honest. But, um, yeah, that's a little bit about me. I will reveal more as the time goes on because this is just straight off the cuff. I'm just trying to get used to talking into the camera and I'm going to endure this journey. I'm going to take this seriously and I'm going to parlay this into my dreams. So I hope you guys are going to stick with me. Hopefully you guys discover me with the content I'll be rolling out and get on this train because it's going to be a ride. Talk to you later.